Easter going uh, on. Happy Easter to you. You too. Right. You too, Mr. Hammer. Republicans saying the White House energy plan is draining your taxpayer dry. And the president may actually agree with that. We found this from four years ago, 2008. If somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they're going to be charged a huge sum for all that uh, greenhouse gas that's being emitted. Under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Well, great. That sounds good, right? Charlie Hurt joins us now. He's the columnist for the Washington Times. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning to you, Martha. That doesn't exactly sound like an all-of-the-above strategy. Yeah, no, I don't think that uh, President Obama would like uh, for people to replay that uh, that uh, that snippet uh, too often right now, especially as as people uh, stop by the gas station and see uh, gas prices at about four dollars a gallon. But you know, I, I think this whole strategy that we're seeing right now is is a uh, is, is a strategy by President Obama to kind of play for his base, to play for uh, to kind of double down on this whole strategy of, of spending money that we don't have on uh, on uh, you know gambles that we don't know will work. And that, quite frankly, have a very bad track record so far, uh, such as Solyndra, uh, where we lost about uh, 500 uh, million dollars in, in uh, federal uh, loan guarantees. And uh, you know, but but in addition to that, you know, a lot of the other people who support these projects that st are, are going to that are in line to get more of these uh, the, these federal loan guarantees are huge supporters of Obama, and uh, they, they're rounding up money as we speak to to uh, uh, to support his reelection bid. And uh, but while it's a very dangerous strategy, I, th I think that, you know, it, I think that the Obama's team looks, you know, they're, they're looking at their, at their uh, re-election campaign and they realize that what they really need to do right now is shore up that, that base. Well, it does a couple of things for them then. I, I mean, potentially it brings in fundraising dollars. It also, as you say, works to rally the base and uh, environmentalists who are clearly part of that base, who are very yeah. supportive of these kind of projects, who it doesn't really speak to, though, perhaps, is, is the independent voter uh, who we know has been up in arms about the decision for example not to do the Keystone pipeline which has really become really symbolic of a larger issue of a true all of the above strategy right absolutely and you know Martha the, it, to me uh, it's it's so startling because you know President Obama ran the 2008 campaign was a very smart campaign that he ran uh, and he had a very good ear for things this right here is is such a tin ear. I cannot believe that they're actually sort of going forward with it because, as you say, it's those independent voters, the people who who aren't necessarily, uh, you know, uh, politically set, but they, they but they do fill up their gas tank and they don't like high gas prices. They also don't like a bad economy. And if this election, as I am absolutely certain it will be turns out to be about the economy, about gas prices, and, 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 and you know, let's not forget that, that the energy prices are the single most important factor uh, in terms of whether the economy recovers or not. And if the election is about that, this is a terrible strategy. And I, I think that, uh, and, and especially with a nominee like Mitt Romney, who may not be the, the, the sexiest guy on earth, the, the greatest speaker on earth, but he, kno he knows business and, and people uh, trust him with sort of on these sort of economic issues, and uh, and and I think that the, the you know the contrast is it couldn't be more stark here. It could shape up to be a very interesting uh, general election debate. Charlie, thank you Indeed. so much. Great to see you Thanks, as always. Martha. Charlie Hurt from Washington.